Photos captured by traditional low dynamic range cameras often contain regions that are over or underexposed. In this paper, we present a technique to hallucinate high dynamic range details to these overexposed or underexposed regions. Our technique only needs the original photo as input. Our key insight is that many nature images contain high quality patches with similar textures to the regions that are over or underexposed. Based on this observation, we provide a semi-automatic tool for HDR hallucination. To repair an overexposed region, the user just needs to select a source region that is under good illumination by a green stroke and indicate the target region by a blue stroke. Our system then automatically transfers detail from the source to the target region in real time. Here we show how our system works internally. Basically, we decompose the original photograph into a high-frequency texture and a low-frequency illumination component. We hallucinate the high-frequency texture by constrained texture synthesis and the low-frequency illumination by automatic Gaussian fitting. Finally, we combine these two components together for the final result. Photos capture warp brush and an illumination brush. Here we show how our texture brush works. Basically, the user selects a source region that has similar texture to the target region, and our algorithm hallucinates the target region in real time by constrained texture synthesis. However, our texture synthesis tool does not work well with large-scale or semantic structures. We address this issue by our warping tool. To the user, our warping tool works just like our stroke-based texture tool. Here, the user just uses a green stroke to select a source region and a blue stroke for the target region, and our algorithm automatically hallucinates the target region by image warping. In addition to texture and warping tools, we also provide a third tool for fine-tune illuminations computed by our automatic fitting algorithm. Our illumination tool is also stroke-based and easy to use. Here, we show more results generated by our technique. In the fire example, we transfer texture from another image since the fire in the original photograph is completely overexposed. We can also use our technique to hallucinate high dynamic range environment maps. And here is one example. Notice that our hallucinated result provides more faithful illumination than the low dynamic range environment map. Finally, our technique can also be applied for HDR video hallucination. Here, the lights in the original video are overexposed, and we use our automatic Gaussian fitting for hallucination without any manual editing.